okay if you just watched that clip and you found yourself laughing out loud well I'm sure you're the target audience for most of what James uh, produces but if you're looking for a broader audience a more I dare I say it mature audience and I don't have to mean real mature just a little mature then I um, would like to show you why these clips in the context of the movie they were in uh, were much funnier and uh, Mrs. Dean was watching me capture these clips. It was on TV yesterday, Scary Movie 4. And uh, she started laughing out loud and wanted to watch the whole movie. And I had to say, no, we just want a few clips for, uh, so I can do a video review for James uh, Luchasano. So let's take a look at how these clips are different uh, now with uh, context. What did you notice was different between the clip that uh, we first showed, we opened with, and this particular one? Let me tell you up front that James, you can take a fall much better than that guy. He anticipated the wall way before he practically stopped before he hit it. But what was made this clip funnier than uh, the first one I showed? It was context. He's racing a blind girl and she hits a tree. That's funny right there. And then, uh, of course, his fall. So it's context. Context really helps to, to uh, put it in perspective. The next couple of clips, uh, we need context plus a reaction shot. Uh, reaction is very important. Uh, um, without it, it's just a bunch of gags. And uh, sometimes, they're, they're, sometimes they actually might be funny, but we need as a viewer to see somebody else reacting in the, in the extreme contrast sometimes that exists there. So let's take a look at um, the next clip, uh, which I called uh, the language, which is uh, your James's clips have a lot of language in them. And uh, to me, it's just about as funny as this was uh, one of the first set of clips I showed you with this guy um, doing grown-up cursing out of context. But this time, in context, actually provides some light humor. Uh, who would like to say grace? Uh, Ezekiel. Pip, 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 vagina. Amen. I, I froze it on the last frame to see those those two females looking at each other like. Was this the dumbest town I've ever been in? And again, in the context of a, a, a group uh, fellowship uh, eating uh, food and uh, a prayer time, it gave it context and uh, it was lightly humorous. And uh, you're starting to develop the character, which you got to care about the characters. And this guy's obviously the village idiot. And we're beginning to care about him. Um, the last one is, uh, again, uh, a theme that often appears in, in, in your, your films, James, uh, is the gross out. And the gross out is okay, again, context and reaction shot. Let's take a look at the, the way they did it in Scary Movie uh, 4. Silence. We have more important matters to discuss. I fear that the presence of the outsiders will attract those of whom we do not speak. So there you have it again. I froze it on, I froze it on the reaction shot again so you can see that you have to, uh, before I cheated, I, I cropped out um, the blonde actress's uh, reaction shot. She's sitting next to him in this very serious meeting, and nobody else is noticing this guy is totally wacko, and he's um, got the best look he ever on film. But context, context, context. So, James, if you can work on your humor in the sense of context, I do it. My favorite one that you ever done as far as a funny clip is uh, the... Blank Samaritan Hospital one. Um, I'm gonna have to bleep that out. And 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 your your uh, worst cops ever. It works on several levels and, and uh, is is beginning to be a mature work, which which uh, I appreciate. So here's my video review. Hope it helps you. And see you later.